6.30, waking up a bit earlier than usual, dead tired, but I have meeting at 9 in the morning, and this is my foot test, hmm, it's not swollen, but yesterday I had a fall, and I was in lots of pain, let's see, as soon as I get up. It's not. Let's see. Can I? Oh, no. that hurts. What's this weird looking stuff? It's my lunch. It's actually yesterday's. <laughs> it seems like there's something alive in this pond. No, it's actually uh, my, my the soup I made yesterday. It's a pea and spinach soup. Uh, really good. Uh, got some nooch on top, and at the bottom, I've got loads of rice. And that's why we've got those bubbles coming up. This is the rice I made. I'm making it quite often recently. It's uh, no brown rice, normal brown rice, but I'm mixing in about a quarter, tea, quarter cup of quinoa. Can you hear that? Music in the background? Oh my goodness, how annoying that is. It's been going on for the last five months, probably. I haven't found out who it is yet, otherwise I'd have already gone and sp spoken to them, but... Jesus, no respect at all. Oh look, I can see myself over there. Hello. As I hope you can probably tell, I'm going out, it's the weekend, I'm dead tired, it's really cold, my foot is still in a lot of pain, I have no idea what's wrong with it, well I know why, I know I fell, but, so I, I haven't told you that actually yet, in fact, what happened was that yesterday, um, or the day before I was actually exercising, left the dumbbells lying around, so it's completely my fault, the next day, morning I wasn't looking and I tripped in one of them and fell but the fall was kind of you know a normal fall and not really painful or anything like that but somehow once I got up my uh, the heel of my foot just started hurting and it progressively got better throughout the day it progressively got worse throughout the day uh, today it's like maybe 1% better but still not of pain uh, yeah so tomorrow I'm going to phys go to physio as uh, usual and I'll check with my physiotherapist if he could check and tell me what's wrong with it. Hopefully it's nothing serious. So, as I said, I'm going out to meet my friends and hopefully I'll take a few shots over there too. See you later. I'm almost at my friend's place picking him up before we go to this place. Had to take a bit of a detour because there's some works in the main road. Okay, so I just dropped him off because I thought I found a parking close by, but then it was actually a yellow box, so we're not supposed to park there, and just found another parking and walking there on my two feet, well, on my one and a half feet. Is it one and a half feet or one and a half foot? But anyway, my other half, I left at home in pain. Selfie? Selfie video. As you do after going out and when it's midnight, you soak the beans and start working out. about 
three o'clock. I've done quite a lot. I've had like three errands. Uh, one of them was going to physio, and uh, actually I had two physio sessions basically. One with the consultant and one on my own. Uh, went pretty well. He checked my foot. He said there's nothing really serious. It just needs to heal. Um, got a bit of bruising basically uh, from the fall I had on Thursday, and uh, so I came back at banana and made myself some Thai chili quite very high in protein very lean and here is about one fourth cup of lentils maybe a bit more about one third of a sweet potato one third cup carrots broccoli spinach kale and about one third cup of rice so it's not that small a bowl although I usually have more so I'm gonna make some braised red cabbage that's why I've got a dirty chopping board. Have a red cabbage which I'm gonna be freezing, and the other half, which is going like this, dry into the oven just to get a bit of a crisp. And then I'll add some water to braise it in. Now it has reduced slightly. I'm adding some of this fennel seeds. So I'm trying to make a humongous salad. I'm gonna be mixing it up. Obviously, it's not just greens; it's actually layered. There is some. Um, Walnuts, crushed walnuts, some sliced radish, some baked chickpeas, then we've got rucola, spinach, then I'm gonna throw some lettuce, I think it's called butter lettuce. I'm gonna make a hummus out of these cannellina beans, and in the meantime, I'm gonna be baking some aubergines or eggplants, depending on where you're from. A little time. So what else have I added? I've added some chopped broccoli, which I've pre-steamed. And same thing for some Brussels sprouts. Don't know if you can see that over there. I've just finalized the hummus. Good call the hummus dip. I'm gonna add the rest of the lettuce. I've also added some artichoke hearts and some fresh basil, which you don't you should not use a knife, you should Tear it up, you know, like you tear, uh, check. We've all been there, haven't we? Right? Right? And some sauerkraut. It's fermented cabbage, so it's got prebiotics that help with digestion too. I've marinated the eggplant in some Worcestershire sauce, vegan of course, and some lemon. I'm gonna pop that in the salad, stir in all the hummus, which probably should be a bit more liquidy, so you could add a bit more water and mix it in, or a bit more lemon. And finally, once you've tossed the salad, just add some toasted sesame seed and pumpkin seeds, and some flax seed. I'm starving and really looking forward to this. It's a humongous salad. Look at the size of this bowl. You don't have to eat lots of salads to be vegan, but you might be seeing this vegan eating a bit more salads after five years of being vegan, so deal with it. Two. Finally no, done. So be sure to like this video, it helps a lot. Comment down below, I'd love to hear from you. Share this video. If you're new to this channel, subscribe. If you want to receive notifications about videos that I've published, do not forget to click on the bell right next to the subscribe button and don't forget to live simple, live large.